Well, the Fairground Oaks was a great race for, I think, uh, that Speed Horse come back a little earlier than we wanted to, and Channing found himself on the lead a little earlier than we wanted to. And uh, obviously, the winner ran a big race. But my filly run her race. She run huge, and we were very happy with her. You know, and the way she's coming into this this race, working over here this morning, she worked great. And, uh, you know, she's won a couple over this racetrack already, so she likes Churchill Downs. Did you have, she went 58 and change this morning. She went 59 and change. Oh, yeah. Okay. The great filly went 58 and change. Oh, That's a little winter, filly called uh, Went the, the Sunset. Uh, yeah, we're looking, uh, we got a little something for Chad Brown's horse. Well, let's talk about, I mean, I'm segueing and this will be, you know, uh, <laughs> but let's talk about the Edward, right? That she'll That's be correct. It. That's and, correct. And I was just looking at her the other um, the day, and she's the um, Out of Winter Memories yes. uh, by Tappet. Yeah, great, 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 great family, great pedigree. Well, you know when you go in a grass race and Chad Brown's probably got three or four in there, you know you have to come loaded for bear, and you think you're loaded for bear with. Yeah, well, Chad's got a very, very extremely nice filly, but uh, I'm thinking my filly's coming in the race very nice, and uh, if uh, it all goes well, I think we can win that race. Um, same people for Coffee Pot. You had Farrell in the Oaks a few years ago. Can you compare the two? Farrell was, you know, she was more one-dimensional. She wanted speed, and she didn't really want an off-track, and she was kind of like, she needed everything her own way. And, uh, but she can, she got it. She can really run. Very nice filly. She made over a million dollars. We was extremely happy with her, and we had a lot of fun with her. And she's in full to Magla Diora. So we can't wait to get the babies. And um, Leora is what a little more... Liara, she, she's got a little speed. She can do about what you wanted to do, and she don't care about an off-track. You know, where the other filly, Farrell, she didn't really want a real off-track. But uh, this filly handled it a few times, and uh, she don't mind it. It's really a bumper crop of three-year-old fillies here. Nine of the, uh, from Churchill Downs, nine of the 14 Oaks projected field are from here. That's great. For me, I like it. Well, Bellafina is very nice filly. I mean, obviously, anybody's in those races are nice horses, or they wouldn't be in them races. So they had to earn their way in there, you know. So all of them are nice. Everybody's got a good horse, and who shows up that day is the best. Uh, the trip and good that day, you know. Uh, hopefully, it'd be us. Uh, can you just tell me a little bit about training for Coffee Pot and how long your association has been with them? I've been training for Coffee Pots uh, a long time. Mr. Bob, Miss Annette, they're wonderful people, you know. We're like family, and uh, they've been very fortunate. We had a couple of good horses together. So it's, uh, it's, it's very nice. But, you know, when you're trained for wonderful people like them, it's, it's so nice. You know, we got a lot of nice people we trained for over the years. And we're friends with a lot of them still. So, you know, we're happy with it. It's, it's a family back here, you know that. Yeah, and with you, it really is family because your son-in-law is also the rider of uh, some of your horses, including Leora. Yep, he rides Leora and he rides with the sunset, so we're extremely happy with that. And when we win, it's a family affair.